Earth is the only planet in this solar system where life exists because of the presence of land, water and air on the Earth's surface. In the previous video, we have discussed about lithosphere which is also known as geosphere. Now, in this video, we will discuss about hydrosphere. If you view a planet Earth from space, it looks blue as major part of Earth's surface is covered with water. This is why Earth is called water planet or blue planet and this abundance of water distinguish Earth from others. Not a drop of liquid water can be found anywhere else in the solar system. It is because the earth has the right mass, right chemical composition, the right atmosphere and the right distance from the sun that permits water to exist mainly as a liquid. However, the range of surface temperature and pressures of our planet permit water to exist in all three states which is solid, liquid and gaseous form. Water is present in solid form in glaciers, snow, ice caps whereas it exists in liquid form as rivers seas, oceans, rainfall and we have seen steam coming out from the boiling water. Thus, steam is also water and it is in gaseous state. The hydrosphere is the combined mass of water. It includes all water bodies like oceans, rivers, lakes, ponds, sea, glaciers and underground water. About 71% of the earth's surface is covered with water. In that, approximately 97% of the total water is in the form of five major oceans. Most of the southern hemisphere is covered by oceans and seas therefore this hemisphere is often called the water hemisphere the major oceans on this planet earth are pacific ocean atlantic ocean indian ocean arctic ocean and antarctic ocean which is also known as southern ocean Salt water masses smaller than oceans are called seas. A sea may be a part of some ocean enclosed partially by land. The Arabian Sea and the North Sea are the examples of this kind. Whereas zone seas may be completely enclosed by land, for example Black Sea and Caspian Sea. Now, if we see to the distribution of water in different form on earth, 71% is covered with water and the remaining 29% is land. And out of that 71%, 97% is in the form of seas and oceans. Thus, this water is marine water or saline water. It has more amount of dissolved salt so it is not fit for drinking and the remaining 3% is fresh water we call it fresh water because the dissolved salt content is very less thus it is fit for drinking 
and of the total fresh water major part is in the form of glaciers and ice caps followed by underground water and the small amount is in the form of rivers and lakes so dear students water is essential for the survival of all living organisms on earth we cannot live without water for a longer time thus it is very important to conserve water